So there have been some major changes at OpenAI recently. Sam Altman has made a comeback as a CEO, and there's a new board as well. The fresh faces on the board include Brad Taylor, former Salesforce CEO, Larry Summers, former U.S. Treasury Secretary, and Adam D'Angelo, co-founder and CEO of Quora. This new board provides a fascinating glimpse into OpenAI's inner workings. Brett Taylor, the former Salesforce founder and current board member, shared noteworthy insights. In a tweet, he outlined the board's focus on stabilizing the company, forming a diverse and qualified board, and improving governance procedures aligned with OpenAI's mission. What stands out is Taylor's disclosure that he won't be a long-term fixer on the board. Once he completes his transitional responsibilities, he plans to step away, entrusting the oversight of OpenAI to his board colleagues. This suggests that Taylor's involvement is more of a temporary role during a crucial transition period. Brett Taylor stepping away seems imminent, and the future board may consist of Larry Summers and Adam D'Angelo, or potentially a new tier replacing Taylor. Taylor, the current board tier, hinted at a temporary role focused on stabilizing OpenAI during a transitional phase. Additionally, Sam Altman addressed concerns about potential conflicts of interest involving Adam D'Angelo. Altman emphasized that D'Angelo has been transparent about the potential conflict, taking appropriate measures such as recusing himself when necessary. Altman stated that Quora, D'Angelo's project, is a significant customer of OpenAI, highlighting the beneficial representation of customers on the board. Despite acknowledging potential conflicts, Altman expressed confidence in managing them effectively as OpenAI continues to grow and impact various sections. Despite misunderstanding, Altman emphasizes learning from the experience and welcomes the board's independent review. Altman expresses gratitude to Helen Toner and Ilya Soskiver, acknowledging their contribution. Meanwhile, Mira Murati, OpenAI's CTO, expresses happiness to be back at work alongside Sam Altman and Greg Brockman. This statement, along with Altman, suggests ongoing changes and adjustments within OpenAI. Helen Toner announced her recognition from the OpenAI board, thanking friends and supporters for recognizing their commitment to OpenAI's mission. She acknowledged the ongoing discussion and speculation about recent events, emphasizing that their decisions wasn't about the board's ability to supervise the company, which was part of their role and responsibility. Toner clarifies that the decision wasn't motivated by the desire to impede OpenAI's work. She joined the board in 2021, and it was made clear to her and the management that her role involves effective oversight of the company. Toner's departure seemed linked to the recent upheaval within OpenAI, and she highlights the incoming board's commitment to a fully independent review to determine the next step. Toner's focus on AI safety and security, particularly her work at the Center of Ethics and Technology, may have been a source of tension with Altman. Her research might have been a catalyst for the turmoil at OpenAI in the weeks leading up to Altman's firing. Sam Altman's recent statement expressing gratitude to his team for investing a significant effort to this process seems to reflect a resolution of the conflict. The statement implies that they have reached a solution that best serves the mission, and Altman looked forward to continuing to work. Given Sam Altman's statement expressing respect for Ilya and the ongoing discussions about how he can continue his work at OpenAI, it appears there might be ongoing negotiations or consideration about his position within the organization. The lack of specific mentions and recent tweets or picture might indeed be due to various reasons, including potential ongoing discussions or a temporary absence. Until official statements are made or there's more clarity from the involvement party, it remains a matter of speculation. In his message to the company, Sam expressed immense excitement about the future, extending deep gratitude to everyone for their hard work during an unclear and unprecedented situation. He believes the team's resilient and spirit distinguished opening eye in the industry, expressing strong confidence in the probability of success in achieving the mission. Before discussing what lies ahead, Sam expressed thanks. He holds deep respect for Lilia and considers him a guiding light in the field and a gem of a human being. While Ilya won't serve on the board anymore, Sam hopes to continue their working relationship and is discussing how Ilya can continue his work at OpenAI. Sam expresses gratitude to Adam, Tasha, and Helen for their collaborative efforts in reaching a solution that best served the mission. Sam acknowledged Emmett for his key and constructive role in reaching the outcome, emphasizing Emma's dedication to AI safety and balancing stakeholders' interests. Mira's outstanding performance throughout the challenging situation is recognized by Sam. He commended her selfless service to the mission, the team, and the company, describing her as an incredible leader without whom OpenAI would not be OpenAI. Regarding the partnership with Greg in the running company, Sam clarified their status as partners, expressing gratitude for Greg's contribution from the beginning in how he handled things during the recent challenging period. Acknowledging the support from partners like Microsoft, Sam highlighted their significant role in navigating the crisis. Gratitude extended to their partners and users for their support, with a commitment to working even harder to serve them. In looking ahead, Sam outlined three immediate priorities. Firstly, 
advancing research plan and bolstering full stack safety efforts, considering them as a critical component for opening eyes work. Secondly, a commitment to improving and deploying products to serve customers and provide tangible benefits of AI. Thirdly, a focus on building a diverse board, enhancing governance structure, and overseeing an independent review of recent events. Concluding the message, Sam expressed eagerness to continue the journey of building beneficial AGI with the team, emphasizing the company's commitment to its mission and positive outlook for the future. Transitioning from the recent organizational update, OpenAI is introducing a festive addition to its lineup. Santa GPT, this newly unveiled chatbot is designed to assist users in finding ideal Christmas gifts ideas. For Chat GPT Plus subscribers, Santa GPT becomes a valuable tool for seeking suggestions to make the holiday season more delightful. As OpenAI reports, Santa GDP offers a personalized touch like having Santa himself help you navigate through the challenges of selecting a perfect gift for friends and family. The integration of Santa GPT into the Chat GPT Plus subscription adds an extra layer of utilities for users looking for thoughtful presence ideas during this festive period. Current Chat GPT Plus subscribers can seamlessly access Santa GPT either through their desktop, web browsers, or by downloading the Chat GPT app on their smartphone. Despite opening eye temporarily halting the Chat GPT Plus subscription program, existing subscribers can continue to leverage the benefit of this new chatbot. Despite OpenAI moving forward with new additions to their service, the situation does seem complex and involves various aspects, from board changes to potential internal dynamics and concerns. The uncertainty surrounding Ilios Skiver's role adds more confusion, and it will be interesting to see how things unfold in the coming weeks and months. In the lead-up to Sam Altman's removal from OpenAI last week, internal conflicts between him and the company's board of directors have been ongoing for over a year. One notable disagreement arose when Mr. Altman attempted to remove a board member based on his perception that a research paper she co-authored was critical to the company. Additionally, Elias Skiver, another board member, expressed concerns about Mr. Altman's transparency with the board, questioning his honesty. The divergence in priorities also become apparent, with some board members raising apprehension about Mr. Altman's strong emphasis on expansion, advocating for a more balanced approach that prioritized both growth and artificial intelligence safety. The announcement of Mr. Altman's ousting was delivered during a video conference on the Friday afternoon, where Elias Skiver, an eight-year collaborator with Mr. Altman at OpenAI, read a statement. It subjected board members to inquiries regarding their qualifications and effectively managed such a high-profile company. The challenges within OpenAI's board can be traced back to the organization's origins as a nonprofit. In 2015, Sam Altman, along with Elon Musk and others, including Elias Skiver, founded a nonprofit entity with the goal of developing safe and beneficial artificial intelligence for humanity. The initial plan was to secure funding from private donors to support their mission. However, as their computational requirements grew, they recognized the need for more substantial funding than what could be raised from individual contributors. In 2018, following Elon Musk's departure, they established a for profit subsidiary that successfully attracted billions of dollars from investors. With Microsoft contributing $1 billion, OpenAI assured that the subsidiary would be under control of the nonprofit board, emphasizing each director's duty to humanity, not OpenAI's investors, as outlined to the company's website. It's important to approach these development with a degree of patience, as complex organizations matter often take time to fully unfold. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, don't forget to hit the like button below. Subscribe to our channel for more exciting content and ring that notification bell so you never miss any update. Share your thoughts in the comments, we love hearing from you. And of course, if you want to stay in the loop, click the subscribe button now. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.